But taking a deep breath was not something that was possible on this Earth three billion years ago. On this slide, we have the composition of the atmosphere of the Earth during that time period. We had about the same amount of nitrogen, but we had almost no oxygen at all. So you would be taking a breath in vain three billion years ago. And we actually had a, a huge amount of carbon dioxide. And the net effect was an almost inhabitable planet. The only organisms that could exist that time were single-celled organisms inside of、uh, stromatolites and, and other close spaces. Now, luckily for us, one of those organisms that was alive at this time was something called a cyanobacteria. And that's a picture of it in the background. And this organism has the special trick that we call photosynthesis the ability to go take energy from the sun and transform carbon dioxide into oxygen. And over the course of billions of years, so starting from two and a half, billions of,、uh, two and a half billion years ago, little by little, these bacteria spread across the planet and converted all that carbon dioxide in the air into the oxygen that we now have. And it was a very slow process. First, they had to saturate the seas, then, they had to saturate the oxygen that the Earth would absorb, and only then, finally, could oxygen begin to build up in the atmosphere. So you see, Just after about 900 million years ago, oxygen starts to build up in the atmosphere. And about 600 million years ago, something really amazing happens. The ozone layer forms from the oxygen that has been released in the atmosphere. And it sounds like a small deal, like we, we talked about the ozone a couple decades ago, but it actually turns out that before the ozone layer existed, Earth was not really able to sustain complex multicellular life. We had single celled organisms, we had a couple simple multicellular organisms, but we didn't really have anything like you or me. And shortly after the ozone layer、uh, came into place, the Earth was able to sustain complex multicellular life. There was a Cambrian expo- explosion of life in the seas, and the first plants got onto land. In fact, there was actually no life on land ahead of that. Another way to go see this is this is kind of a chart of pretty much. Uh, most of the animals that you guys are familiar with. And right at the bottom in time is the formation of the ozone layer. Like nothing that you are familiar with today could exist without the contributions of these tiny organisms over those billions of years. And where are they now? 